Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. Today we are going to turn in everything we found to the uh, to the local assassin head here at the local bureau. Uh, before that, let's just review the information for anyone who may have not, who uh, doesn't want to sit through all the exploration and investigation missions. Abul Naquad, Damascus. The best time to strike the Merchant King is when he addresses his guests. The moment may be brief, but it will be all I need. <coughs> Excuse me. The Merchant King has received a vast quantity of wine. He is preparing for another feast. He seems unshaken with his preparations, even though wine is prohibited by his religion. If he can ignore the laws of his prophet so easily, one can only wonder what other impious acts he'll commit. The people of Damascus despise the Merchant King for spending their money on extravagant parties held inside his palace. Attending one of these celebrations should bring me close enough to strike. And here we have the letter that we stole. Peace be upon you, Hisham. I have done my best to balance the ledgers, but the counts show something strange. Payments to Jerusalem's regent and William of Montferrat in Acre. I had thought this might be connected to the ransom demanded by the Crusaders for our captive brethren, but given the way that ended, peace be upon those poor souls, this seems unlikely. It also does not account for the deliveries to Jerusalem, but if the money was not meant for ransom, then what is its purpose? You should also know that there have been extravagant parties as of late, all held within the Merchant King's palace. This is absurd. The citizens of Damascus starved themselves to help Salah al-Din's al -Din, al war efforts, but instead, their money is being spent on feasts. They deeply despise the Merchant King and are powerless to stop him, which is why I write to you now. Please say nothing to the Merchant King for now. Should he become suspicious, he'll attempt to hide his misdeeds. I'll contact you when I learn more. With peace, Mazuk. A map of where the Merchant King has stationed his guards. This will definitely prove useful. Here, it looks like he's got guards all along the outer wall here. Although there is a gap um, where I think where there was a viewpoint on that ledge, if I'm not mistaken. So that will probably have to be our way in if we have any difficulties. Some servants spoke of leaving behind a scaffold just outside the Merchant King's quarters. I could use the passage they took to bring a scaffold up there. It will bring me closer to my target. And we can see... Basically telling us to go in where the guards were not, so. And finally, there is a fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's Palace, which I could climb should the need ever arise. Ooh, fountain, yay. <laughs> Alright, so with our evidence, let us return to the Bureau Chief and get his blessing. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. All right, then we have Abul Naquad, a corrupt man of tremendous wealth, is planning another feast today. At some stage, he will speak to his guests, no doubt made drunk and stupid by his gluttony. This will be my moment. Alright, well, time to take another life. Or probably like 20 lives, as the case will probably end up being. But, you know, we don't always have control over that, now do we? Let's actually go this way. Oh, fuck off. All right. You must not trespass here. I'm just passing through, man. No need to. Need. Oh. I'm going so to lose you. Just a little money, I beg of you. Ah. Uh. 
Wouldn't it be funny if he could push me into that and insta-kill me? Like, I can insta-kill guards. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, hello there, man-carrying crate. That is poorly put together. Yep. We aren't getting in the... We aren't getting in the front door. But we know there's other ways to get in there. Who can we? Oh, no, it's not going not gonna to let us do that. Won't be that easy. That's fine. We'll, we can get in peacefully. Could you spare a few coins? Are you blind? Sorry. Can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. See, sir, have uh, money. Get away from me, lady. All right, we'll just climb this in, and this should be. My family is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? Ah. Wee. Ah. Still, we're in. Um, I think we gotta go this way. I'm just a piece. Oh, they're, te they're telling me not to trespass. That's unfortunate. I only got that towards. Oh, he has roving guard patrols. Okay. There we go. And we should be able to run out now. Nope. Those, I thought those guards would have... Uh, I thought those guards would have... Uh, Left their position. Alright, there we go. We'll try this again. Because I'd rather not just... It's a little unimmersive when you just kill everyone. Right? So, let's see. Oh, damn it. I was really hoping that would despawn the guards. Or not despawn them, but have them. But, like, because they're up there, they wouldn't be there. But, nope, alas. So we probably need to look for the scaffolding that um, the letter was mentioning. Ow! Which might be on the other side of this. But then we gotta avoid all the roving patrols, too. I thought if we just blended... Oh! Hello there. Be strong. Strong like Salahadin. And take up all Aha. <laughs> Goodbye, Templar scum. There we go. And Do we have another round of guards? Nope, we can just get right in. Oh, what a nice show. Yeah, I guess he'll be speaking from up there. Uh, let's see here. So that's a fountain. Scaffolding to his personal quarters. That's what I want to... There, I think. Alright. The woman with the wine. More wine. Yeah, so what you could do is climb the statue, that fountain, I guess, and then move 
Oh yeah, that would be another way. You could, might be able to make the jump from there to the wall. But I guess we're... Are we speaking now? Yep. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent. Yes. Most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. All right. Oh, that happened. All right. And up we go. Have your head. Pay for your sin. Oh, that. Ow. Get away. I'm not here to deal with you. Nope, he didn't go that way. Damn, he can move. Oh, no! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. The short blade is best for quickly fending off my... Okay, so at least we restart here. As usual, my deaths are self-inflicted. What? Alright. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Be at peace now. 
Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. We're not so different to you and I. <laughs> Ow. I have a throwing knife. Alright. Cool, so that's probably one of our... Except for that first run where I jumped. Where I uh, killed myself by jumping in water. This has probably been one of our best runs. We're actually anonymous, leaving the uh, leaving the site of the assassination. Oh, come on, lady! All right, come on, out of the way, lady. That's right. Be about your business. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm just a scholar who happens to have many weapons. You know, for reasons. Hey, the streets are dangerous, okay, man? <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna. I think at that intersection we're gonna have to get the high ground, otherwise, it's gonna be forever walking back to the bureau. I thought we would have been clear about halfway down this street, but then those guards spawned in. But hopefully, um, yeah. We can climb up there. Then we should be able to run across the rooftops and get to the bureau a lot faster. Although they do have our rooftop archers now, so. Oh, uh, gotta hide from these guards. Lady, leave me alone. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Lady, if I wasn't being watched by four guards, I would just throw you. There we go. Alright. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You spawned him right in front of me. Come on, this is supposed to be the rich district. All right, that's right. Move about your business. Oh, leave me alone, lady. Just a little money, I beg of you. 
Come on, leave me alone, lady. I will break my cover if it means being rid of you. There we go. Ugh, alright. Now we gotta pass through these guards. Oh, everyone's being so mean to me. Oh, more guards, man. They really pulled out all the stops for this one. I apologize for how long this is taking. I figured... Oh, just another thug being mean, I guess. Because I got with him 10 feet of him or whatever. Oh, come on, people. <laughs> but man, I uh, there were just so many guards. I figured like once we got from the palace, there'd be less of them, but there weren't really. Okay, are we gonna be able to at least jog in a little bit now? Who's got eyes on me right now? It should be oh, okay. So there was a guard following me. Alright. Well, we're almost there now. The Assassin's Bureau entrance is on the roof. Fortunately, those guards are going to be watching me climb the, the ladder, but uh, hopefully I'll be up it before they react. There we go. All right, that was about as stealthy as we could have done. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them, the men and women at his party. It was poison, a coward's tool. Blamed them for the war, said he wished to end it. Strange, but then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Almualam then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright, so. Uh, do I get the. Nope. I gotta wait for it to. I like how the assassination isn't complete until the next day. Not when you return to the Bureau. Not when you actually kill him, but the next day. Yes, fast forward memory to Masayaf. Jar carriers can easily break your cover if you close. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death, they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. 
two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. All right, so we got Ooh, sword expertise damage, and then we got boots. It looks like that gives us a little more armoring and regain balance and dodge. So regain balance should give us like if we get a uh, brown on edge or something, it looks like that'll give us a chance to catch ourselves and it will um, dodge will let us basically. Um, did he just he just disappeared? OK. But the uh, dodge will let us get away from those uh, guard breaks that have tormented me so much. And I think we'll actually leave it here. I just want to take a jog out into the courtyard here. Okay, I would. I just wanted to see if they were the same outfit or different outfit as the dancers at the party, but it looks like they wear a uh, different outfit. All right, so well, that's a nice waterfall. There we go. So, uh, as far as our memory log goes, these men I'm sent to kill are wicked. They profit from the war, and so I am sent to stop them and ensure that peace returns. But then why do the Merchant King's words dig so deeply? Is it wrong for me to see a bit of truth in them? I shall return to Al Mualim that he may help me make sense of this and crush these seeds of doubt. Well, that didn't exactly happen. So we'll be going to Akir next. And one last note about this guy is he talks about how his own god or his would be god would see him as an abomination. And I think um I think he's supposed to be gay. Like with the way it's very subtle in my opinion, because I did not even give it consideration my first time playing through it. I thought it was simply because of uh because he was fat and because of the blotches on his face. Uh but no, apparently he that second time he touches a guard, his touch lingers a little bit and I guess that's supposed to imply that he's gay and that's the real reason that everyone hates him and why uh Allah himself in his holy text would call him an abomination. So can't blame him for uh, for what he did, you know. And hell, for what, 1,400 years later, and people are still fighting for those rights, so. But in any case, our, uh, our next target will be William de Montferrat in Akir. But until then, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.